Bellerophon's tale exemplifies the classic hero's journey in Greek mythology. We'll explore his quest to defeat a formidable creature, the divine assistance he received, and the consequences of his subsequent pride. This legendary story showcases the typical path of a mythical hero and offers a lesson about the dangers of excessive ambition. As we delve into Bellerophon's adventure, we'll also consider how his story reflects broader themes in Greek mythology and its influence on later literature. Bellerophon, a son of Poseidon, is a prominent figure in ancient Greek mythology. His mission to vanquish the Chimera demonstrates the typical challenges faced by legendary heroes. Athena's gift of a golden bridle to help tame Pegasus illustrates the common theme of divine intervention in these tales. This narrative encompasses elements of courage, divine favor, and the pitfalls of hubris. Bellerophon's lineage and task mark him as an exceptional individual, while his story serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of unchecked ambition. The hero's journey often begins with a seemingly impossible task, and Bellerophon's was no exception. The Chimera represents the unpredictable and dangerous aspects of nature in Greek mythology. This creature, born to the monsters Typhon and Echidna, is typically described as having a lion's head, a goat's body, and a serpent's tail. It was said to breathe fire, making it a particularly formidable opponent. The Chimera symbolizes not only physical danger, but also the untamed wilderness and natural disasters that ancient Greeks feared. In heroic quests, facing such a monster was a test of bravery and skill, challenging heroes to overcome seemingly insurmountable odds. The Chimera's hybrid nature also reflects the Greek fascination with composite creatures, blending different animals into a single, terrifying entity. Athena's golden bridle represents divine wisdom guiding human strength. This magical item allows Bellerophon to tame Pegasus, the winged horse essential for his mission against the Chimera. By successfully capturing and riding Pegasus, Bellerophon demonstrates his worthiness and gains a strategic advantage for his upcoming battle. This element of the story showcases the interplay between divine assistance and human capability in Greek myths. The golden bridle itself is a symbol of control and mastery, suggesting that even the most wild and magical creatures can be tamed with the right tools and divine favor. With this celestial aid, Bellerophon was prepared to face his monstrous foe, but his greatest challenge lay beyond this initial victory. Bellerophon's defeat of the Chimera marked the peak of his heroic career. His clever use of Pegasus to attack from above proved effective against the fire-breathing monster. However, this success led to overconfidence. Emboldened by his achievements, Bellerophon attempted to fly to Mount Olympus, the realm of the gods. This act was seen as hubris by Zeus, who sent a gadfly to sting Pegasus, causing Bellerophon to fall back to Earth. This dramatic reversal of fortune completed the hero's tragic arc, serving as a warning against excessive pride and the danger of overstepping mortal boundaries. Bellerophon's fall also reflects the Greek belief in the importance of maintaining proper respect for the gods and accepting one's place in the cosmic order. The myth of Bellerophon continues to resonate as a cautionary tale. His journey from heroic success to tragic downfall exemplifies a common pattern in Greek mythology. References to Bellerophon can be found in various works of Greek and Roman literature, including a brief mention in Homer's Iliad. The enduring relevance of this legend lies in its exploration of themes such as courage, divine intervention, and the perils of unchecked ambition. Bellerophon's story serves as a reminder of the importance of maintaining humility even in the face of great achievements. This myth, like many others from ancient Greece, continues to influence modern storytelling and remains a subject of study and interpretation in literature and culture.